hard to pick a best inspiration, but I'd say my main inspiration would, in a lot of ways, have to be myself. My name is Javier Arroyo Loman, but people call me Javi. I am 14 years old, and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. My hobbies are beat making and producing, and then I'm not sure how much it qualifies as a hobby, but I spend a lot of my free time talking to and interacting with people. I think what distinguishes my style of photography from others is the way I use the contrast of two different settings to my advantage in the photo. I like that it gives me another way to creatively express myself. My favorite things about my neighborhood are the people. I like some of the local businesses in my neighborhood, but I like those because of the people running them. I would like to tell the story of the more urban and dirty tar parts of Dorchester that we get shown a lot, and the clean and beautiful and community of Dorchester and juxtapose those and show how it's not just one or the other and how they're actually currently equally coexisting. My name is Erica, I'm 15 years old and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I'm an artist. I like to draw, I like to animate, and I like to paint a lot. Uh, my family, there's some of my family members that inspired me to do art because they like to do a lot of art too. It shows that a lot of artists in the community can express themselves by putting their art on buildings or anywhere around the city. People can get creative around the city or like the neighborhood. And I, I like to tell that story because people can be like creative all the time and it's great to show it. Some hobbies that I have is that I draw I collect a lot of things when I go thrifting and stuff, and I like to create it into new things. How I got to this point in my life is that I really tried hard, and I'm a hard worker. My name is Dash. I'm 17 years old, and I'm from Roxbury. What gets me up in the morning is the need to be better and to grow and make a legacy of like make something great. Like every day is a new day for me. Like when I wake up in the morning, I want to do something. I want to be inspired. I want to make something like music. When I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is play music. I'm trying to create something. I want to be a beast. What inspires me to create art is other artists, you know, people around me that do art. When I see my friend doing things and making songs, it inspires me to make some like, what am I waiting for? Because sometimes I leave you waiting, waiting to do things like I haven't really completed anything, but my friends always pushing me to be greater and finally complete something, to finish something. I like how you can take take a picture and make it big, or take something small, and then you can put, you can like, it can have different meanings behind the picture. So it can, you can interpret it in different ways. My favorite picture that I took is, is of this, this man, but we just coming back from taking pictures outside the community in Upper Corner. And he came across me and he was like, yo, take my picture. And I was like, of course. He had a good, really big smile on his face and I was, he really made my day. I grew up in Roxbury, around like four of my, five of my brothers. Five of my brothers and then my mom. Just my mom, she was a single parent, she usually did. I grew up around Roxbury and um, things I remember, that was like the slushy lady. The slushy lady, she will be like on, Mar on Martin Luther King Boulevard at the end near the, the mall that they call Washington Mall now. My mom would get, pick me up from after school and I would want to go, I would want to go get a slushy from the slushy lady all the time. And on the weekends, she was out there every hot day. And the one thing I remember about the slushy lady is that we, I once had an encounter with her when I was like younger and my mom, I was like mad because my mom would give me something from the store and then I was like, I don't know what I said, but I must have said something and she heard me. And so the lady pulled me and my mom to a side and she, me too, she pulled me and my mom aside and she said something to me. She checked out me that day. 
I don't remember what she said, but every time I acted up, my mom would be like, don't do that because I'm a call the slushy lady or something like that. So yeah, my favorite things about my neighborhood is that you know everybody. It's like tight. It's like a tight community. You know everybody. I think it's just a family. You feel, you feel like one big family. How about the name we have to Prince Veneer? Prince Veneer. Who's that? Prince Veneer married Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly was a movie star. And that way you see Princess Grace. Princess Grace was a movie star. Grace Kelly. Oh. My mother was her maid in Philadelphia before I was born. My mother used to work for the movie star, the maid. In Philly. Grace Kelly. Then my mother named me Veneer. So I tell everybody, I was born a prince, not a mechanic. My name is Sunna Boy. Um, I'm 14 and I'm from Dorchester. What inspires me? Um, I like to say the artist. So um, when I was younger, my dad put me onto a lot of different um, types of music, different types of art, whether that be like jazz club, museum, you know what I'm saying, concerts and stuff like that. So being introduced to stuff like that at a young age, it kind of becomes a little hard not to be influenced by the art. Just like you know, just how grand it is, how just possibilities there are with art, and you can do anything you want with it. So to me. That's the most influential thing about art. My favorite art tool would have to be the paintbrush. Um, something eloquent about the, br the brushes and the strokes of, of, a, of, of a bristly tool that makes beautiful art. I think even about my neighborhood, I have to say the diversity, you know? The, um, the lot of different types of communities, a lot of different types of activities you can do in my neighborhood, a lot of like, I don't know, things you can like find in my neighborhood. You can, so you can like you can you can you can search the neighborhood for like a year. You can live in the neighborhood for like a couple of years, and then still find something new every time you live it. Every year you, you live it. So I think that's something I like on the 